Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to map multiple samples onto one key on your MIDI controller in Battery 3. Now this is great because if you like to layer your drum sounds, it's really easy and you can create dynamic and expressive drum kits. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's say you want to load multiple samples onto one cell in battery so one note triggers all of those samples. And also what you could do is make use of the velocity changes. So, you know, you can make it sound very human and real. You know, you can have a light hit with a low velocity, medium hit, medium velocity, hard hit, hard velocity. You get the idea. So let's get into it. All right. So I'm going to choose three snare samples here. One soft, medium, hard. There's a soft one. Click, drag, drop it on that cell. I'll choose this medium hit, click, drag, drop it on that same cell, and then a harder hit. Okay, click, drag, and drop it. Then what you want to do is go to mapping. And as you can see, you have the three samples mapped out right here, and they're all at every velocity change. They're all being triggered at the same time. So that works, you know, if you want to stack up your samples and have a bunch of kicks together to get a real fat sound, you could do it this way. Or, like I said before, you can make use of the velocity curves and changes. So I want to take this soft hit here and drop it down. So all you got to do is go up to the corner over here and this little, these little arrows, click, drag. And I'm going to drag it down to 70 at the highest velocity. So this is the low, 1 to 70. Then the medium, I'm going to drag the top down to about 110, 111. And then drag the bottom up until 65. So I didn't do it all the way to 70 because I want them to overlap a little bit. So this way I put some fades in there and the transitions between each sample sounds very natural okay so here's the hard hit and i'm just going to go to the bottom and drag it up to 105. so like i said they're overlapping a little bit so i can put in those fades so now to put in some fades you see these little arrows here on the top and the bottom just go and click on them and drag them down a little bit and again over here go to the bottom Drag it up and the top, drag it down a little bit and the bottom here, drag it up a little bit. So now there's very smooth transitions between each sample. And, you know, like I said, when you play them on your pad or your MIDI keyboard, whatever controller you're using, you can get very realistic feels and playing. And then you could also do something like this, where you take two completely different samples and have one triggered at the high velocity and one the lower velocity. So I'll play this one now. So I have a regular snare hit at low to medium then once I go high I get a roll so you can get some cool and creative stuff going on there you can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at wingsound.com